Welcome back guys. Um, today the job is to give the old hire truck a service. We are at, we're just about to tick over 300,000 k's so it's time to do all the oils, the diff oil, gearbox oil, general service and um, what else have I got? Oh I've got a little thing I need to fix is the, um, the air assist shift on the gearbox, this one here. It's starting to leak. I think one of the little o-rings inside or whatever goes in there it's gone a bit bad so we're gonna change that i've ordered one and that's arrived so we can do that but yeah let's uh let's get into it Man, that cab's heavy. Um, good tip, open the doors if you've got a cab over. Really helps with the weight. Let's put my little nano blanket down. What happens when you start getting old? You just want a bit of comfort. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually really hurts to lie down on the gravel. Oh, let's get this gearbox draining. So when you're doing gearboxes and diffs and that kind of stuff, always open the filler plug first because if for some reason you drain it and then you can't get the filler plug out, you're in a world of trouble. So I don't know why, it's just a habit. Sorry about the wind today as well, it's absolutely blowing the gale. There's a tropical low up north of Australia and we're kind of getting the tail, tail end of it. Just a whole lot of wind down here in Perth. But it's all good. That oil is actually, oil is actually not too dirty. I do it every 100,000. And like a tiny bit of stuff that comes off the magnet on the sump plug. Oh yeah, really not that bad at all. Yeah, right. that is empty. Got my handy funnel and my uh bit of hose so I can get to it. Start filling her up. Oh, I always just chuck. Chuck a little bit of that in. I don't know why. In my head I feel it helps out a little bit.
Same thing with the diff. gunk on the magnet. right there, we are done. Let's give these grease fittings a quick once over while I'm on the rig. Safety filter that's still really clean. He's gonna stay in there. This one's actually not too bad. Like I haven't even blown that out yet, but I've got I've got a heap of these at the moment, so I'm just gonna bang a new one in. I normally just blow it out, but Chuck a new one in. Literally it drips. Like look at the mess it makes. Hey. Like surely you could have engineered that slightly better, but oh well. This one I uh 
fill this fill this up with oil first. Just an old habit. Every little bit helps out, I guess. Just means the engine's running for less time without oil pressure while it's filling that up, you know. It was just on the fall, so I'll just um. Oh, I was gonna start it. Where'd my keys go? Let me just find my keys. All right, got my keys. Well, here's our new part. There you go, 600 bucks, thanks for coming. And well, it goes in there. Something like that anyway. Let's see if we can get that off quickly. Gonna have a give that a bit of a clean up in there. Put that little air fitting on the on this new one, and then we'll put it back on the truck. job got to grease up everything and suspension uni joints on the tail shaft and then give it a bit of a wash always give them a bit of a wash after a service and lube it all up
least favourite job, but it's got to be done and we'll be good for another 10,000 k's. Um, if you're wondering, I'm not doing the fuel filters, there's that one there and that one down there. Uh, they're probably all of 5,000 k's old. Uh, this one actually developed a leak, it split, split around the lip there, so uh, I just changed them both not too long ago at all. Um, the brakes have been adjusted on the S-cams. Oh, probably about the same actually. I did it when I was bored one day waiting to be loaded. I just whizzed under there with the 14mm spanner. And what else? I think that's about it. So yeah, the higher I do the higher on separate intervals, grease that and service that. So we're not doing that today. But yeah, let's um let's give it a wash like I always like doing. Every service. Just keeps it nice. And then I go around after after I washed it and give it some CRC or WD-40, whatever. Just make it look nice, but yeah. Let's give it a quick hose down. Yes, I sprayed the turbo and exhaust, exhaust manifold and all that, but it literally burns off after uh, about 30 seconds, so there was a tiny bit of smoke from it, but nothing bad. Um, yeah, looking good. Let's um, just drop the cab down. What else do I got to do? Oh, the uh, radiator overflow at the front and the washers and stuff like that. Let's drop the cab. Pretty simple in here, get your brake fluid, coolant, and your squirties, which are over there. I don't know if you can hear them. All the way over there. Cool. So I'll just make sure everything's topped up and then we'll be good to go. See what the gear stick feels like. Hopefully, it's delightfully easy. Well, actually, um, I'll take you along for a bit of a ride tomorrow. Got to load up for a trip. Um, what have we got? About a 1,500-kilometer long trip on Friday. Nice, decent delivery. So, yeah, I've got to load up tomorrow afternoon for that. And yeah, this service is done just in time. See so where I'm at. Just under 300,000. 299, 523. So I do this truck every 10,000 kilometers on the dot. It's been an awesome truck to me. Super reliable, you can't go past a high note. Oh, 
Oh, feels easy. So, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, Arvo. We'll go for a bit of a drive and give it a good test out. Well, good morning, everyone. It's uh, just before 4 a.m. We are, here's the truck there, about to hit the road. Got a long drive ahead of us. to say um yeah changes heaps easier with that um new air shift installed gear changes are nice and smooth now and you just pretty much have to lean on the gear stick which is kind of what i was hoping for because i remember that's how it used to be and then that um yeah that thing slowly got worn out i guess but yeah we're uh we're looking good we've got a um what have we got today about an 800 and something kilometer drive so that's why we're up nice and early, about 4am, so yeah, we're going to get this delivery done. Hotel rooms over there. I just checked in. Uh, what did we do? 780k, something like that. So yeah, she's running fine. I'll um, I'll end this video here. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you on the next one.